use a TFTP server to upgrade a Cisco IOS image. Addressing table with two routers, two routers, one switch, one switch, and the TFTP server. TFTP server. A TFTP server can help manage the storage of iOS images and revisions to iOS images. For any network, it is a good practice to keep a backup copy of the Cisco iOS software image in case the system image in the router becomes corrupted or accidentally erased. A TFTP server can also be used to store new upgrades to the iOS and then deploy it throughout the network where it is needed. In this activity, you will upgrade the iOS images on Cisco devices by using a TFTP server. You will also back up the iOS image with the use of a TFTP server. Upgrade the iOS image on a Cisco device. Upgrade an iOS image on a router. Access TFTP server and enable TFTP service. Access TFTP server services uh, TFTP on. Very good. Note the iOS image files that are available. Okay, TFTP server. You can see the images here for ASA, router 1841, router 19 series, uh, router 26 series, uh, the switches, 2960 switches. Switches, uh, 3560, and more iOS images. Which iOS images stored on the server are compatible with uh, 1941 router? Okay, um, this C1900 Universal K9 MZ SPA 1514M4, that being N. C1900 Universal MC SPA 1553 M4A.beam from R2 show flash R2 enter uh, enable show flash column enter record the available flash memory this is the available flash memory about to 200 megabytes 200 megabytes copy the cisco 1941 k9 ios version 15.5 image for the 1941 router from the tftp server to r2 in an actual network if there is more than one interface active on the router, you may need to enter the IP TFTP source interface command to specify which interface should be used to contact the TFTP server. This command is not supported by Packet Tracer. In Packet Tracer 7.2 and older versions, and it's not necessary to complete this activity. Okay. But on R2, copy from TFTP. So this is the server, the source, and the destination will be the flash in the router. TFTP in the server, flash in the router. Copy from TFTP column to flash column. Enter. And the IP address of the server 192.168.254. Very good. And the name source file. Okay, this name. Okay, remember uh, Cisco 1941 iOS version 15.5. And what is the 15.5? This look at 15.5. 1900 series 15.5. This is 15.1, 15.1 version, but this is 15.5. Okay, 
Okay, that is the difference. And finally, enter this name. Okay, on R2. C1900 Universal K9 MZ dot SPA dot fifteen five dash three dot M four A dot B. Okay, this name. Okay, enter. Destination file. Uh, use the same name for the destination. Enter. Okay, very good. Okay, copy it. Look at this. Uh, this is uh, about 33 megabytes. About 33 megabytes. And the available, the available flash was about 200 megabytes. So it's very good to contain 33 megabytes. So verify that the iOS image has been copied to flash. Repeat, show flash. Okay, repeat, show flash. Enter. Now you can see the previous uh, image, 15.1, 15 15.1 version, but now you have 15.5 version. Okay, the images with uh, that being extension. And now you can see the, the available is uh, about uh, 180 megabytes. 180 megabytes now. How many iOS images are located in Flash? Okay, two images. Okay, but why? you selected this this image c1900 use show version and you can see the this router is uh, 1941 router so the cisco 19 series is compatible very nice and now Use boot system command to load the version 15.5. Okay, by default, the system will boot using 15.1 uh, and now change the boot using 15.5. Okay, uh, use this command boot system flash and the name of the image. But on global configuration mode, configure terminal boot system flash and the name okay use this name c1900 universal k9 mz dot spa dot 15 phi dash 3 dot m4a dot b Enter. Very good. Save configuration and reload R2. Okay, save and save configuration. Use uh, copy running config to start up config. Enter, enter and reload. Reload, enter, enter. Enter, then verify with show version. Okay, enable show version. Now you can see the, the system image file is this, 15.5. Okay, and Cisco iOS software, C19, and my C1900 and version 15.5.3 M4A.
upgrade an iOS image on switch. Access TFTP server and copy the C2960 LAN base K9 MC 1502SE for that being image to S1. Okay, access S1. Enter enable and copy from TFTP to flash. Okay, from the server, the source to flash to flash uh, on the switch the destination. Copy TFTP column to flash column. Okay, enter the IP address of the server 192.168.254.192.168.254. The file is this, use this name, C2960 dash land base K9 dash MZ dot 150 dash 2 dot SE4 dot being enter. Destination name, use the same name, enter. Very good. Use boot system. Configure terminal, boot system, flash, and use this. Uh, Use this name C2960 dash la lamb base K9 MC dot fifteen zero dash two dot SE four dot bin enter. Okay, in this case, do this uh, flash column okay boot system flash column and the name enter now it's accepted very good reload as one and verify new image has been loaded into memory okay enter and uh, reload enter system system configuration has been modified save yes save Okay, save this configuration. When you forgot to enter, copy running config to a startup config command. The system will tell you that there is a modification. System configuration has been modified. Save and use yes in this case. Enter. Enter. Enter, enable show version. And now you can see the image is, is this C2960 LAN base K9 MC that 1502 SE4 that B. Very good. But you can verify also show flash column. Okay, this was the previous image, 12.2 12 uh, 12 version, but now you have the version 15.0. Backup an iOS image to a TFTP server. On R1, display the contents of Flash and record the iOS image. Go to R1. Enter, enable, show flash, column, enter. And this is the name of the, the router ISR 4300 Universal K9016.
zero five as fifteen five three as uh, as five x spa beam. Okay, this is a router with forty three series and use the copy command to back up the iOS image in flash memory on R1 to a TFTP server. Note the ISR4300 image is considerably larger than the C1900 image. It will take longer to transmit it to the TFTP server. Okay, look at the, the size. Okay, about um, about 400 megabytes. Okay, and use this command copy from flash is the source on the router and the destination is TFTP on the server. Copy from flash column to TFTP column, enter. Source file name, use this name. Okay, copy, paste, enter. Others or name of remote host. This is 182.168.2.254. 182.168.2.254. Enter. Destination file name. Use the same name for the destination. Enter. And wait a moment. Okay, very good. Okay, about 400 megabytes. And access the TFTP server and verify the iOS image has been copied. You may have to start and stop the TFTP service on the server so the file appears in the file listing. Okay, TFTP server. Search. Okay, search the ISR for the three. Okay, no ISR off, and then on. Okay, off. On. Okay, now you can see ISR for the three zero zero. Very good. Okay, completion one hundred percent. Thank you very much.